Hi everybody, this is Patty from Flower and Flower, and I just wanted to take you on a quick tour of my fall garden. Um, I've been gone for three weeks, so we got a lot of stuff going on that um, I normally would have taken care of, um, like a lot of overgrowth and things like that. Um, but anyways, um, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I have going on in the garden. This is um, a red cabbage, and this actually looks like it's about ready to pick. It looks like I've got some aphids in here, which I need to, I, I'm going to pick this and then I'm just going to discard the, the, the rest of the plant. Because once you pick this, there's really no point of keeping the foliage in the, in the ground. I also have some volunteer tomatoes that are just popping up all over the place. Um, and this is actually the cinnamon basil from last year that's still, um, it's going to flush out new growth and it's going to be beautiful plant again. Um, this bed over here, I planted all new garlic in here and I had some strawberries that are um, growing in this bed as well. And then over here, I have some sugar peas and the sugar peas are doing quite well. I'll show you. Uh, they're really delicious too beautiful green peas and I'm going to be um, sauteing these up with some butter and salt and pepper later on. Don't need to really boil them, just need to get them warm. They're just delicious, crunchy and sweet. Very good. Um, and then more strawberries down here. But what I really wanted to show you is my artichoke plant. And the artichoke plant, um, I, it had gone completely dead. And then this this uh, fall, it actually um, came to life again, and it grew like, I would say this is probably five times as big as it was originally. And you can see in here that I've got several artichokes growing in here. Here's the, the big one in the center, and then there's one, two, three, four um, around it. And I have another spot over here. where I've got the same thing going on, one big one, and then several small ones. Now, none of these are ready to pick. They're not big enough, but when they do get big enough, I'm gonna chop these down and um, I'm gonna make some uh, artichoke, uh, stuffed artichokes. I'll show you that when I get them. But um, so far, that's what I have. I've got about 10 artichokes growing in here. Okay, so then over here, I have several herbs growing in here. I've got my parsley. This is actually sweet potato that came back up. I had already harvested and they came back up. Um, this is regular potatoes, the russet, garlic. Um, I have cilantro here and this is thyme, lemon thyme. And uh, now over here we have broccoli. And this is actually what I was talking about. I should have actually picked this. It was, it's starting to flower out. But some of these I'll still be able to keep. And um, with broccoli, I did get large flowerets, a large flower out of the center, and I already cut those heads. And then they, they just keep shooting out little small broccoli shoots. And it's they're perfectly great to eat. Beautiful, they're very good. But over here is where I grow my lettuce and I was gone for three weeks and when I got back it just looks gorgeous so we'll be having a nice green salad for dinner tonight but I have um, several types of lettuce in here this is a green leaf and then I have a, a red leaf here this is a curly leaf lettuce and I also have some arugula this is arugula growing in here. And um, yeah, so this is gonna be great. This is um, where I took the, the uh, romaine lettuce from the store and just put it back in the ground. And it is bringing up some green leaves. I'm not sure if it's rooted in. Let me actually test that. Nope, it has not rooted into the soil yet, but it is still producing leaves. 
we'll see we'll keep an eye on that see if it works this one maybe nope not yet looks like it might though we'll keep an eye on that it's an experiment and um, then I have the green cabbage here it looks like I've got some bugs flying around here and uh, bell pepper and, uh, that's about it thanks for watching <laughs>